Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Hiring Nowadays. My name is Alex. I'm Calvin. And we're here to discuss how hiring is changing nowadays, right? Yeah. And things you're gonna need to keep an ear out. You know, you gotta be smart nowadays or you're gonna like, get behind on the on the thing. And today we're gonna talk about actually like, it's uh, kind of like a sad uh, topic, uh, but it's a necessary topic to talk about because as hard as it is, uh, you need to be aware that uh the hiring sphere or what's whatever's happening right now with startups you know it's definitely happening and it is layoffs i know it sucks nobody likes to hear people losing their jobs uh but we want to like dig uh dig a, a little deeper on why we think this is happening what are the consequences from it and just like give you our two cents on what are you supposed to do when stuff like this happens or Maybe just like an understanding of why these ma massive layoffs are happening will give you an opportunity to plan ahead or maybe even be ready if it happens again. So I don't know, what do you think about Calvin? Strange days for the tech sector. <laughs> yeah, uh, the whole layoff, I think we all felt it was going to happen at some point. I don't think we ever wanted to think about it. But we were living in this bubble for like two, three years of, or two years of just massive hiring. Yeah. Unfathomable amounts of hiring where for a long time it was a company market. It became a, uh, a talent market. And that flipped on its head, what, like six to eight months ago, where I think it was forget the company exactly maybe it's twitter twitter meta or google and all of them <laughs> they all have done it but one of them realized it and it sparked a huge wave yeah and it's it's understandable why uh there's a, a few reasons for why this happened which we'll get into but it's a really important topic that we bring up so that companies and even people alike know how to uh, know how to manage what's happening right now and even go into what might happen in the future. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I mean, the first time I heard about something like this was, I mean, well, first of all, during, during COVID, like everyone started, uh, as recruiters, you know, we are, our business is recruiting and helping companies hire developers. But especially like during COVID, like it spiked, like everybody started hiring, like, and the whole remote work setting thing also gave a valuable uh, road for companies to really like bring <laughs> thousands of people into their company. It looked like a very, like, it was a very positive time and stuff. But the first time I heard about this going down was, I think it was 2022 or something mm -hmm. like that. That was yep. the first like. Uh, layoffs that like big companies right and it, it, it that's the thing they weren't like small companies trying like uh, to get by this is we're talking about Google we're talking about huge corporations uh, even like in our business like uh, people were being offered salaries like crazy salaries just because yeah. you know the competitiveness of talent was so big and Everyone was flourishing, you know, like business business was changing due to uh, like lockdown and stuff. But then it came back down, right? Like yeah. then it's like people started hiring again and stuff. And now it's happening again. Like why do you think it's happening right now? Like what's what's the reason this is happening right now again? Like, yeah, uh, those are. I would say <clears throat> you look at 2020, 2021, and early 2022. And we had a lot of money in the market. A lot of companies, because of the pandemic, the shutdowns, one of the major things that crept up was, were people going to interact in the virtual world? And so a lot of business got created from, what can we do in the virtual world? Uh, more e-commerce businesses were being created, more business in the virtual world for e-commerce, more virtual world interactions, bars, clubs, whatever you could think of. Maybe think of something that you saw uh, in a movie in the future where everybody's hanging out online. That's where people thought we were going to in 2020. So in order to do that, we had to build around that. Or we thought we had to build around that. So. I would say that was one of the major causes for where this bubble started to create. 
and where it inevitably popped. Because while this might be a great idea, maybe we're too early for it, um, what we saw was people just didn't want to do that. I, th I forget which, maybe it's Sandbox or someone else, but the most active users they get on a daily occurrence is 30. And you can't justify spending millions of dollars on 30 people. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one of them. Uh, you see economic slowdowns globally happen. So people have to pull back and think of, okay, we have to, they have to tighten their belts and go, okay, I have to stretch my, uh, stretch my uh, investment, my dollar, whatever, a little further. Yeah. So those are two uh, huge reasons I see happening right now. Sustainability, basically. It was yeah. like, kind of like hard to sustain like this big idea of all these people that were hired that, yeah. because it started to uh, go down, I guess. Like uh, not a lot of people were like, like you said, like the, those 30 people did not represent yes. <laughs> like an army of, 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 I don't know, people behind in your company. I can imagine like very clearly everyone hiring a, uh, during the pandemic, just like everyone building their own army of like, but then like the battle never happened or whatever, you know, like it's like, oh guys, I guess you're gonna have to go home. Like the, the big battle we were getting ready for did not came. Like something like that, yeah. I imagine. No, it's just to give a metaphor, right? No, no, you're, it's definitely there. And I, I will say though, uh, three years later, that I am starting to see similar signs, but very different in terms of usage, because whereas the metaverse was thought to be something good, and we can probably reference our a podcast previously, um, we look at what's happening now with AI and the companies surrounding AI. Just the other day, I saw 20 AI tools for how to land a job. It went from resume making to career coaching, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You go down the 20 tools, and they were launched essentially, I don't know, in the last six months. Yeah. So I'm seeing AI being a tool that's actually being used. I don't know to what extent. I'm st I think that it was still too early. I think people are just throwing AI behind everything without actually knowing if it's going to be something profitable. But I'm starting to see this similar signs as what we saw then. But the difference is usage rates. Mm -hmm. I think AI has a huge amount of usage rates. Metaverse did not. So uh, that is one of the big kickers, the online world not getting as much traction as people invested in. And so all the people that were hired to do that have been laid off. That sucks. It's, it's, it's. It sucks because like I can I can feel the the potential that they viewed right like they wanted to like really like uh, like I said double down on this mm -hmm. like and it's like the same as you're saying with AI I mean come on guys I mean AI is the future it's cool but at one point how many robots are there gonna be if that's gonna make it difficult to choose what AI you wanna you know which one's right for you. It's a saturation of a market, really, mm -hmm. like because, and that's the idea. The metaverse was like this huge. I was like, oh, I'm never gonna leave my house ever again, man. Like, <laughs> I might as well get into the metaverse. Uh, but then people got got to go to uh, to work at their office, and things changed. So I feel like it's the same. Like, we see an idea, we like double down on it. We think, oh, this is gonna be our life. Uh, but then, and the the world is out. Uh, it changes really fast really quickly so all those people that double down those are the ones that are seeing layoffs basically that's what that's why i understand like yeah. uh there's and, a, lo a lot of factors i guess yeah and even to that same extent when we look at what like in the past when they had layoffs and all these things the amount the time it took for them to change was a lot slower oh yeah yeah you might see s some sign but the amount of change in the quickness like right we went from metaverse in 2020 to ai in 2023 <laughs> three years it took us to go from two extremely high amount and there's a lot of things that happened in the middle but that's fast and now people are having to adapt to this new change ai like what are we going to do da, da, da. yeah so a lot of people are freaking out and you're right i guess i didn't think about that like before if there was like a big change in the, like say like a factory 
they brought like this new huge machine that, I don't know, like puts the bottle caps on like two face. I don't know, whatever they used to do it manually. That took like maybe like 20 years in the past or maybe, I don't know, 20 is a little exaggerated, but you know like what I mean? Like this big years. machine that they built, but now in today's world, things change so fast. It's just so hard to keep track on, on what to uh, double down on or what's the path, the right path for your business, right? So it's always changing. I mean, uh, if 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 we could have a, a, any advice for people that are experiencing, what what would you say to people? I mean, of course, I would say like try to slow down, buddy. <laughs> like, like you can't like just like uh, throw everything you have at an idea. You always have to be careful and you have to be considerate, especially when we're talking about people. You know, mm -hmm. like people are the most important thing in companies, especially in today's world. That's also something that I think like we are valuing more human talent and we are seeing the potential human talent can bring. So if you are irresponsible or are you just like, I don't know, uh, in, in, in Latin America, you say this, like uh, your, your eyes were, were bigger than their, than your stomach. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, uh, uh, I feel like if you are going to, if you want your company to grow, you need to do it. And I know like, not like at a moderate pace, like it's I guess no one can could see coming what was going to happen with all the layoffs and no one was going to see uh, how AI now is like the, a huge thing. But I feel like in times like this, especially if you want to grow your company in the long run, you need to like I mean, I, I guess my dad used to say that, like, just don't don't go crazy. Go, go smart. Mm -hmm. Go smart about it. Like, don't 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 run. You'll trip. Yeah. You be smart about where you want to go. I don't know what I, what advice would you give people like nowadays like I think the only the only thing I would add to that is when you're going smart it's and again we I think we might have fell into the same trap at our company is when we were during the economic rush we wanted to try out new things see what would work mm -hmm. uh, and then when those didn't work you had to make the hard decisions um, one thing that I try to stick to, which we're st it's, it, I feel like it's right at this point, but we'll see in the long run. Uh, it's better to make a bad decision than to be indecisive. Yeah. At the same time, if you can make the decision based on certain factors faster, that's a good decision, even better. Now, when you have this economic rush, it's really important to put certain rules in place and thinking about, okay, where is the law of diminishing returns for your company to invest in so that you can keep investing in those where you still have a high amount of return. And if you don't know that, maybe that's where you should be investing in and yeah. figuring out what you can keep investing in to make more money out of. Um, if you're a small company, in hindsight, I probably would have just hired more sales and recruiters and marketers at the time instead of doing other things. And I think that's a, a big lesson that companies can do when you are in this economic rush. Figure out how to keep maximizing your returns. And then when you hit this decrease period, this reduction period, really analyze your ROI. I think there's three, uh, at least uh, there's at least one factor where you have to look at the people on your team and go, okay, what is the value that they're bringing to you from an ROI standpoint? And then diving deeper, what is the value in that ROI that they bring to you as a culture and as the monetary factors? And then when you look to hire people, do they, how do they, how do they bring additional support to either the profitable areas or your culture areas? So if you find yourself in a lot of diminishing returns in an aspect, maybe you need to invest more in culture rather than that one, that one area where you need to make more profit. Um, for It's really wise to go, okay, what is the ROI of this one product? If you can't extract more value, you look somewhere else. But if you still find that you can find more value there, invest. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, 
try to try to put your money in the things that are uh, in the long run are gonna make your team or your company's team stronger mm -hmm. not like trying to like i don't know how do you say spread your wings too far or fly too close to the sun because yeah. you thought oh, i'm gonna sell so much stuff right now that i'm gonna need more people to sell it and then you didn't sell stuff and then now you're like having to lay off amazing people that's yeah. that's the thing uh, and that's the hard decision i guess like be before like people didn't even have these types of conversations like i guess like uh, companies in i mean I guess it, it, it hurt, but seeing uh, seeing like nowadays we you c even have websites that you can follow who is firing, uh, mm -hmm. which companies are firing, and it's just brutal. You know, it's brutal to see like how quantified everything is and how calculated, and you can see a better uh, overview of what's going on. Uh, I guess like back back in the day, you just heard about it, like oh they're firing a lot of people. Now you can like quantify it. And it's scary. So yeah, like our advice definitely would be uh, walk uh, walk safely, but walk confidently. Don't think, uh, don't try to like solve problems by just like uh, trying to become a bigger company. You know, think smart in a way of how you're gonna make your company grow, but also become stronger. Not mm -hmm. with a lot of more people, but just with the right people. So that that's what I would say. Yeah. I think so. that's that, that's pointed right there. I, again, maybe it's shooting yourself in the foot because we're saying to not hire so much, even though you have a lot of money to hire, because hiring is a great way to scale. But at the same time, if you end up having to lay those people off six months later because you weren't thinking of whether this person would have the right ROI for your company, that's worse. And yeah, it's great it's to give someone a job, but at the same time, you're upending their life and you just wasted six months of revenue that you could have put into ads or something. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the hard choices that one needs to make in when you're thinking of hiring nowadays, you know, you gotta be smart about it. Uh, either way, we love discussing this stuff. So, you know, if you have any further questions about hiring or, or any tips, you know, you would like to know, you know, that's what we do. Um, any last words, Calvin? I don't think so. Uh, there's a couple articles and material. Uh, if you want to find that site that uh, Alex was referencing, uh, layoffs.fyi, uh, you can see it shows in fairly real time uh, the companies that are laying off and maybe there's an opportunity there. Yeah, maybe there's an opportunity not only uh, to look within, <laughs> but also to, to uh, see how you can like maybe be smarter the next time you, you hire so yeah it's uh, this has been another episode of hiring nowadays we hope you enjoy it uh, my name is alex i'm calvin and well we'll see you on the next episode see you later ciao